Welcome to the Spinfoil Theory Podcast. Each week we sit down and discuss our favorite lore topics from within the Destiny universe. Specifically, we intend to take a close look at a specific question that has been nagging us and potentially the Destiny community as a whole. To fulfill that, our discussions tend to assume that you already have some background in the Destiny lore. Despite that, our goal is to be as lighthearted and welcoming to everyone as possible. With that out of the way, let's dive into this week's topic. I, oh man, I'm I could just... Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm oh just yeah, opening yeah, yeah. Up... I, meant, I meant for you to have like all the friends. But uh, I'm also oh, ready. All the <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm also ready for okay, the show. I am also but, yeah. ready. <laughs> but hold on, I'm just opening up some documents here. Awesome. Squint. Yeah, because basically, on this Discord server, it's called the uh, the Cryptarchy. Mm-hmm. They have they're like trying to understand the languages of Destiny, which is so cool. cool yeah. mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, so a while back, I wrote an article for Ishtar. I see that collective. <laughs> <laughs> talking about hive runes and they uh, use that as a basis of everything else I love that. it's, it's like, a fantastic yes. reference uh, i'll say that much <laughs> yeah your, your i i actually am not rewriting it but kind of rewriting it right now because <laughs> we've or what i've because of what i've done um i read some code because okay little aside here um for real life stuff, I'm a software engineer at NASA. Mm-hmm. I I may have been bragging about that. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Bragging? Yeah, I yeah. may I may have been bragging to like just like just random people like they don't even know like I have a show. I'll be like, yeah, I got a NASA scientist. I'm gonna like interview on Wednesday, so sure. if you could just uh. We'll just, have to yeah. schedule around that. So yeah. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Then it's yeah. Yeah, I've been working there for I think four years now. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Cause so, I'm technically still in. I mean, I guess I'm in college for another what, like month? Yeah, month. Cause I'm in summer quarter right now. Okay. okay. Finishing up one class and then I'm free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. But yeah, <laughs> but um, throughout. So basically, first I'm gonna do a little aside. First quarter at my university, they had this class that astronomy majors could take and it was called pre-map so like pre-major in astronomy program mm-hmm. and i got in it was like kind of a like the only certain they only had a certain amount of sp- sp- spots mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i got in and i was like oh it's exciting so basically they took the core and they kind of divided it in half yeah so the first half of the core they taught us how to like use cut python how to like write papers you know easy stuff now, in the next half of the quarter, a bunch of, uh, like, graduate students and professors were, like, get, basically gave the class an elevator pitch for what they're working on. Like, hey, we need, like, an extra person to, like, help look through this data or run this code or whatever. And I picked the the one that was um, simulating uh, exoplanets. Nice. I was like, that sounds super cool. So I did that, and I did that for my entire time as an undergrad and then this uh like the beginning of like summer quarter my boss was like all right i know you're graduating soon but i want to hire you as a permanent position and i was like what me <laughs> well because like one of the things i had done is so like i had got i had like i was running simulations before on like an older laptop my old like it only had like I could I couldn't even run Destiny on it. I tried once in the middle of class, running Destiny on it, and I landed on the moon and the altars of sorrow. I jumped once and then it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, but um, so yeah, I basically got I it would take a really long time to run simulations because they're they're slow, mm-hmm. and I wrote this program that basically because it would only run one simulation at a time on one core it would do like one okay we did that all right next simulation and it would be really slow so i said screw this and i wrote a program that basically utilizes however many cores you want so mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. my now my super or i won't say supercomputer my 
upgraded gaming computer has mm-hmm. like 16 cores. So I'm like, unlimited power. <laughs> yeah. nice. So I wrote this this thing that a lot of people are actually using now because it makes it way more efficient on how to run stuff. So yeah, like that's been like my, cool. that's like my baby. But yeah. And then, so basically I used my coding experience from my job. And I wrote this coding thing for hive runes <laughs> and that's awesome because basically um hive runes if you look at them they're divided into three parts mm-hmm. they have the top part the middle part and the bottom part yep mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um when you look at hold on one sec so like um when looking at like Z- the xenophage runes mm-hmm. and um the runes on like shriekers and the cryptoglyph hive runes can be like flipped like vertically and horizontally so that means technically speaking stuff that can be like a top part of the rune can also be a bottom part of the room and vice versa mm-hmm. and they also you can flip some of them if they can be flipped some of them they're symmetrical so it doesn't matter if they're flipped or not so i did that and i was like okay and I wrote a script that basically made every single combination of a rune humanly possible. Mm-hmm. 60,000 different runes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, because what I also did is if you look at, like, um, shoot, what's another good idea? Um, like, there are some parts of, from looking, from staring at runes for so long, I noticed there were some kind of patterns okay. for, um, the hive runes is so like there'd be a piece that basically would look like I call it like a whole piece, and then there's like another one that's like a broken version of it. So like for example, there's one that is a dot in the middle, and then it has two lines mm-hmm. going diagonally out. Mm-hmm. That that that's one that's a whole one. And then if you've done Pit of Heresy. Mm-hmm. And you get to the part where all those boop, those those booby traps. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. There's one that's a dot, and it has two little tiny lines up top, and then that one would be a broken version of that of that first one. Okay. And then there's a bunch of other different broken versions of it, but then you can also flip those and do all these other different combinations, and that's a lot of them. So yeah, I think in total there's let's see where to go. Graphics. No, it's not in there. It's not in there. Lies. All right. All right. It's in that other folder. I have so many folders. It's terrible. I, I know the feeling. I will compartmentalize stuff, after, especially after I start getting, like, I don't know. I'll have, like, you know, like, your downloads or whatever. That It's really easy yeah, to, yeah. Let, to let that get out of control. But, like, every now and again, I'll just have a fit and be like, no. Oh, yeah. This no, this is kidding. That is <laughs> me right now. Oh, wait, no, there it is. I found it. Wow, I am blind <laughs> as a bat. I am I'm blind. Because I had it, because I have, like, I have it set up for, like, I have, like, this Hive language folder that people can access on the server. It basically has, like, you know, the different, like, banners, so to speak. So you have, like, the... Savathun symbol mm-hmm. in Crown of Sorrows. You have like Oryx's symbol, you have Crota's symbol, mm-hmm. those kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I have another one that's like the individual parts of runes. Mm-hmm. And there's like the actual like phrases. That one is a big one. Because <laughs> I can imagine. I have every single phrase that has ever shown up in Destiny as Hive runes. So many. My, um, the thing that probably took the longest to make is the, um, the necrotic cipher, the little lore things you could find on the moon that would talk about the, uh, what should we call it? The lore of the, it, it would give you the lore book Inquisition of the Damned. Oh. Those little things. Sure, sure. Those yeah. actually have a bajillion hive rooms on them. All right. 398, I believe, if I remember correctly. Huh. I had to do that by hand, making my <laughs> little graphics for them. My eyes were bleeding. Not really. Not actually. But I would, it, I certainly, would not. it certainly <laughs> felt that way. Hold on. 
<laughs> It'd be like, you're allowed Hops. to take a break. <laughs> no. There's no such thing as breaks. Let's see if I can find it and There's send it to you guys. Caffeine. <laughs> caffeine, yes. All right. <laughs> Ah, here it is. Yeah. It was so big that basically what I did is like I actually made two different versions. I made one where I like divided up, up into little tiny parts and then I have one where it's like the full thing. So I'm gonna drag and drop into general, is that alright? And you Go guys can look it. at it. Absolutely. That's fine. Uh, right. so so question question for you. Um just speaking of uh the mention of the uh, the individual um So many. Like uh yeah, that's really cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, so many. Talking about the uh, <laughs> talking about the the house symbols, um, like Oryx, oh, yeah. Protos, and and what have you, um, mm -hmm. is is Oryx symbol just his, or is it like interchangeable with the Taken? Because you see you see like the sort of um, like uh, for, yeah. exa for example on like the Gambit jerseys, mm -hmm. uh, where it like explains the perks that each class get. I was just looking over at mine, like the the sort of the advantage on Taken is a slash through. Oryx's I think symbol. like in there's when it, when it comes to destiny there are some stuff that are like in game they mean x but in the lore they mean something else like they kind of they have to have like a divide between like game mechanics and like real life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the lore like for example when we do a raid mm -hmm. if we wipe technically yeah we don't come back in the lore. That means you, if you failed, you were like Eris's fire team. You fucked up. Mm -hmm. You messed mm -hmm. up real bad. But that's true. I guess technically. And those things that um, shoot our ghosts all angrily when we're dead and waiting for. I know, like those te technically, the, yeah. our ghosts should be like flying around, being like, "Nope, I'm not about this life." <laughs> I would honestly, I wouldn't even have mine with me. He would be chilling, or she. I don't know what kind of ghost I have, but. <laughs> Um, let's say it's Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage would be so far away from the danger, and I would just be like, just come back later. You can just take your time. It's cool. I, I won't notice how long it takes. But once exactly. it's safe, <laughs> like, then come back. We were, uh, we just, we just added to our list, uh, sort of on that note, um, since the Almighty's crashed, is that, is that Titan I was just gonna like mention that, like, animation. that Guardian that got trapped on the yeah. Almighty, he should be okay now. He should be able he to should be, be picked okay. up, unless, like, maybe that part of the ship is still going. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming not, because we yeah. saw the whole thing go... It <laughs> did, yeah, no, it did, it did go full magical girl. In the sky. It did go kablam. <laughs> wow, I, I will say that the wings are still there, but the whole core is what was shot out, basically. Yeah. If, if yeah. you watch, was in... watch the live event, the, the wings were still there, but yeah. And the, he was I'm, in like I'm an engine room core. thing. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, yeah that's, that's probably explodey. Exactly. Explody gone. The um... whole thing went kablam. He's <laughs> free, I hope. I just want like a lore entry like next season or whatever of the ghost and the guardian like being like, hey... He's all like, yeah, I did it. I blew up the Almighty. Wait, why am I on Earth? <laughs> so because that was time. their whole mission. Their whole mission was to go blow up the Almighty, and then that Guardian uh, got stuck in the Vex Trap, and he's mm -hmm. been stuck there for so long. And for him, it was, like, instant that he's, like, out. But for the ghost, the ghost is like, you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the ghost would be crying. If I could cry. Maybe the but... ghost, I don't know, his ghost seemed a little sass. Like, maybe it'll be more like a cat that you haven't, like, you've been, oh, like, yes, you've been like gone for a couple weeks. And <laughs> oh, it comes back and it's like, yeah, like, weird. I've been hanging out with my new friend, Smitty. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I can't I've resonate. I've been <laughs> Or like, what if it's something like completely sad, like the the ghost went back to the traveler just to get reset? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. that'd be so sad. So sad. Yeah. Oh, I would cry. Yeah. I mean, it is possible. Yeah, I, I, I'm I think that's an in, that's an interesting thing to think about. Well, it's like she said, no. Well, it's especially because because like at least Sagria can just kind of, like, interface with a ghost and, like, make it go do that. So I don't know if that's something, is she special? Or is that, yeah. like, something, like, any ghost can do? Like, that's part of their, yeah. like, when they when they interact that way, it's like, oh, like, all right, I picked a bad one. I have to go. I, I don't know if that was Sagira herself or if it was the machine that we stuck our ghost into. Yeah, it might have been the machine we stuck our ghost into. Maybe. I thought, I'm not sure. I thought, if I, if I recall correctly, I, I, I believe that she hovered over it and like 
interfaced with it because that happens in the wild that does i don't think that happens that happens like right after they fought someone because it uh i think he's outside and they're traveling because that's how the uh the warlord happens upon him in the first place oh yeah that's true um every rune basically is a 250 by 250 pixel grid or can fit into a little square okay so i made a really really big grid background basically and i put them all in by hand and then after that then i'm like okay it's actually this big so then i'd make a i use adobe illustrator so then i made a little artboard that's like how big it is and then i remove all of the background but yeah i have to make sure every single one's centered in their little box that's the part that takes the longest Huh. Is centering them in their little boxes. Uh, I could imagine. Yeah. I... <laughs> Especially with this one. This one like hurt my eyes. Yeah, I've done yeah. I've done some stuff for visual purposes in my life before, and that just sounds maddening. Right? It oh, sounds no. like one of those things that I would sit there and it's like, no, Taylor, like you could take a break, and I'd be like, ooh, but can I? This yeah, is how same. This like, is how oh, no. got twisted by the Oh no. Yes. Guys, you know about the cake <laughs> meme, right? Right? The cake meme. You know about the cake meme on Twitter? The well, the someone's meat one done... or the or the is it is it cake? Is it cake? And okay. now someone's doing, is it cake? No, it's a steak. And I'm like, no, please, yes. I don't need this. I, please. I gotta tell you, like, like the the first one of those that I saw, the meat was so marbled, and it like it just had like this certain color to it that it actually when I first looked at it, I thought it was one of those Jello things with the cream in it. It was, that was oh fun. no that was a fun <laughs> that was a fun time on on the tweeter for for me that's, that's <laughs> i don't know if that was relevant to the show or if anyone actually cared about that story but <laughs> but now you've had to listen to it so you... <laughs> oh i, I kind of feel like abe simpson right now or oh no uh principal skinner and one day you'll be old too. <laughs> okay, okay. If you're gonna bring up Abe Simpson on a Destiny pod, I, I, I am, I am forced to just go. My favorite meme that I saw that came out with, um, with uh, the season where we brought back Saint fourteen, and it, oh. where, where it has um, uh-huh. Osiris walk in, walk in, um, on, uh, on Rasputin. <laughs> And it's just the meme is just it they just pasted uh Osiris's oh. head over Abe and it's old man uh-huh. yells at Cloud. <laughs> and they yes. over the cloud. <laughs> old man yells at computer. <laughs> well well, especially since he's back at his network, I'm really digging the cloud reference. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. That's great. I saw I saw that right away and I was like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm <be> so happy. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, these these I guess getting a little back on track. This is amazing. I'm looking I'm looking at your uh your image now and it's just all the different all yeah. the different pairings and like it's little nuances. Lot. It's very nuanced and I here's here's the best part. The best part. I had already gotten all of the necrotic ciphers on my account. Right. So I made a Smurf account. And did the first mission. I made a warlock because I you know I'm getting lore. It makes sense. I made a warlock. Right. I'm 750, and I'm like, well, I have to go to the moon. So I go to the moon. Do the first campaign mission of the moon. I'm still 750, mind you. There are places on the moon that are 900. 850. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I basically was like, I just need to get a screenshot. Hive, please don't shoot me. <laughs> Could you please? And then they'd they'd literally like look at me, and then I'd be dead, and I'd be like, "Ow!" <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, no. I had found spots like in the no. actual like more not in like the hell mouth or other places with really high sure level enemies. I mean, not really high like for us because we're like really high, but I'm like for like, new players. <laughs> They're like, "I'm scared." Yeah. <laughs> Question marks. What do they mean? <laughs> Why am I being? But, uh, ow, ow. <laughs> pretty much. Why am I dying? Oh, I'm dead now. I have no qualms with you. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Oh, yeah, I found a bunch more. of them, and the hardest part was like getting all of the sides and making sure they all were like correct. Because yeah. it's basically um kind of like the hive cryptoglyph, how or how it has like different sides on it. Yeah. I almost want to have someone like three D print a necrotic cipher because I'm like I oh, have oh, the runes. Sure. sure. Yeah. They're actually really really big. They're about a, like from looking at one. Because there was one in the arm of, like, a dead uh, astronaut. They're about a foot long. They're pretty big. Okay. I well, won't. I mean, I figure, I figure like, the, at, at best, you, you have, like, uh, a wizard maybe using, like, her blaster to write it. I feel like, in most cases, you're probably it's someone, like, cutting into something. <laughs> like, so, yeah, like, similar gotta... to how, like, yeah. I mean, if you look at Thrall's claws, you know. They could just claw it in. If they do it wrong, then the wizard would be like, you're not worthy to live by right yeah. of sword logic because you're stupid. Bye. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> so oh, one, one thing that's really striking me is I, I never noticed this before before looking at your, your cipher here, but it's it's like a, it's like every rune at least starts with the same sort of like center stroke. And then, yeah. like, sometimes sometimes it's taken away, like, either, like, down the center or maybe, like, diagonally uh, or something like yeah. that. But, like, it, it looks like every word or every rune starts with that same, yep. like, cross stroke. Yeah, for depper, if that's something I've noticed. Let me see if I can find. And I'm wondering if, like, if there's ever an instance of that symbol by itself, or is that just, like... Um, that's do you mean just, you... like, the horizontal line? Yeah. By itself? Yeah, yeah. There's some instances of that. It's really rare, though. It's only used on, like, consoles. So, like, for example, in D1, when you would do the strike, a la cool strike, and you'd have to go to, like, the left console and the right console. Right. On those, there would be, like, it's basically almost like a, it's like a keypad. Like a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Basically, is mm -hmm. what we were thinking it is. So it would have, like, you know, all the letters, and we're thinking those actually mean, like, numbers in that case because mm -hmm. hold on let me yeah. grab another one that makes sense your guys's general is going to be full of high runes i'm sorry <laughs> no, that's, i'm strangely comfortable i've accepted that. this <laughs> strangely comfortable with that you're like this is fine yeah, yeah like for example this is the co control console boop like you see how it has like the lines at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, that's so when like... that's the only time when they're really used by themselves. Okay. I wonder if they do. <clears throat> yeah. I'm wondering if, because it's still built off that, right? And I'm wondering if that's like. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's. I'm just like looking at it, and I'm wonder I'm wondering if one by itself is one, or if it's like zero. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably zero. Because zero, then you have one, then you have two. But that last one with the liner, that's five. And so they... Or I guess four. Well, I, I mean, what if they have, like, a base three? Oh, that yeah, that is true. Three. They do only have... Yeah. Or so, I guess, that like, base be... four. Because that would be four. Base or, no, four, base three. Yeah. Sorry. Base three. I was right the first time. Because it's, like, one, two, and then it's, like, another symbol. And then I guess you could start, oh, like, man. stacking that symbol. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, but this is all of the... This is all of the, I guess you could call them the base runes. So, like, everything else on this one is, like, most of the runes are this one, but they're either, like, flipped or oh. rotated of some sort. Oh, that one's got three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, there's, like, one with one, and then two, and then three dots, and then maybe the last one has. Yeah, maybe it's base four. Yeah, I think it's base four, which is That's cool. interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe it's, uh, huh. maybe it's, like, a really simple reason for that. I, like I and I don't really? I don't know enough about their background, but it's just like maybe there's my favorite one so far though is back up next to pizza, which I'm gonna call Angry Man symbol. The Angry Man symbol, yes. Yeah. Or I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he looks like a little angry man, and he's got like a goatee <gasps> that's really making him look extra stern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I call the one like to the left of pizza. I call that one jazz hands. Because I love it. <laughs> because their hands are, it looks like little hands. They're like, this is me. Oh, yeah, I love it. Like, I love it. Like, if you look at the top of that one, and you look at the one two above, with the, the one with the same same dot in the middle, 
-hmm. They're like the same, but it's like that one, the one that you call the angry man. <laughs> that one is like a broken version of that one. And then same thing if you look at two or three to the right of the one that's the same, like it's the dot in the middle, then the two diagonal lines. Right. Go... Wait, left, right. Yes, the one on the end, on the second row. Okay, yep. That one's also a different broken version of that same rune there. There's lots of really weird nuanced stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So many nuanced stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's super cool. I love the hive. No, for my is, friends. This is super cool. Have you, um... <laughs> now, like, so you, you wrote the script for your cipher, and they're they're using it on uh, Cryptarchy, I think I think you mentioned, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. How much have you guys been able to glean? To translate? Your... Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, That's... I, like, I figure it's like maybe not too too much, but like maybe sometimes there's some there's some corollary stuff. There's we we know like what I think we have like a couple, like it's a lot of like connotation. It depends, mm -hmm. but like for example, the one that's we call this one five lines. The one that's like the two little lines and then the big line and the two little lines. That mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. yeah. that one means lock. That one means lock or door, because. Uh -huh. We have a spreadsheet where we keep track of where every single rune shows up. Like, okay, this one shows... That one shows up on chests. And it shows up on locked doors. And it shows up on other locked chests. And other locked doors. So, shows up on a lot of locked and doors. So, f And it's a really common rune. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're thinking that one, at least for now. Because some runes have, like, a bunch of different meanings. Like... The little check, the one with the little, the, uh, not the check mark one. The same row as the check mark one, but the one that's like the up parentheses and then the line is not a full line, it's like a triangle. Yeah. That one mm -hmm. has, it means haste or lies. That was from D1. That was from the Black Hammer runestone. You got it if you dismantled your Black Hammer. And then in D2, that one means treasure, doorway, or chamber. So that rune in total has five different meanings. So it's not... So basically we're thinking it really heavily depends on like the connotation mm -hmm. and like what it's on. It's context-based, essentially. Yeah, it's context, basically. Because you can't be like, well... One of the things I did that was really funny... You guys have done Pit of Heresy, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know the part where you come to the door, the, the, the wall of doors that aren't actually doors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that part. Um, what's funny is, so, me and my buddy, we uh, went through and we looked at what every single rune was on top of every single door. Mm -hmm. And it, it's basically just saying, this is a door. This is a door. <laughs> is what that rune is. Because it's like, it uses... The five line rune, which means door in this connotation, it uses the one with the three dots above it, which also means door. And then it also used the um, that one that has five different meanings, which also can mean doorway. So they all mean door in that context. And it just was really funny because I'm like, door, door, <laughs> door, door. But none of them are actually real doors. So they might uh -huh. mean like fake door. We don't know. Like, that's honestly the hardest part, is, like, the main thing is we don't have, like, a Rosetta Stone, mm -hmm. so to speak. Where there's, like, context like we... and, like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, that that's honestly, like, how, like, we were able to translate, like, ancient Egyptian, which is, a, I drew a lot of similarities from. Yeah, because the, the Rosetta Stone. to ancient Egyptians. Yeah, the, the Rosetta Stone has it uh, in Greek, which we did have. Right. Yeah, like, we knew yeah. Greek. We're like, we know Greek, we got this, but we don't know Egyptian. Uh -huh. we now find, we know. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have anything like that for... And it's ridiculous, Hyverns. too. I so like, thought... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, on the, on the Rosetta Stone, it's, like, ridiculous how much they fit on it, because it's, like, big, but the writing's, like, really, really tiny. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just super, like... duper, duper tiny. Super small. Yeah. I'm just like... Whoa. Microscopic. But, yeah. And then... Something that's interesting is, so, this is an, a, something we had to revise, 
pretty recently. So if you guys know, you, know, you guys have done Chrono Sorrows, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you know, if you beat after you beat Golron, you can go inside the crown and you see all these hive yep. rings, right? Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Spooky. So for the, for a really long time, we thought the symbol in the middle was Sabathun symbol. Mm-hmm. It's not Sabathun symbol. I mean, it is, but it's. How do I explain what this is? The crown of that symbol is not necessarily the symbol for Sabathun, but it's a symbol for. Because basically, it's Sabathun's warped version of Oryx's symbol, basically. Because it looks like kind of like Oryx's symbol, if I yep. remember correctly. Yep. yep. But it's like flipped. So it might it has like a different meaning now. And she's also like added to it. So I think we had come to the conclusion. Let me just search up in. That it's what like a, a like a the new taken of that well i, I mean it's, yeah kind of like a yeah. variant of the taken symbol yes yeah, so it's like the new the new symbol of the taken which i mean me I, I really love that because then she has something that doesn't even have her true symbol so we wouldn't be sure yeah. if we ever happened upon it mm-hmm. yeah well we have like the symbol for the taken not taken queen witch queen expansion yeah. So right now we're saying yeah. that's maybe Savathun's symbol? I thought that was uh, Crota's daughter. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Let me... Let me no. Yeah, this she... one. Hashford. This one. Yeah. This one. No. Where'd it go? This one. Savathun. We think this one's yeah. the Savathun symbol. Oh, that one. Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking yeah. Of... yeah. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, it kind of. I like that it has like a little crown on it. I think that's right? cool. The little crown. <laughs> and then, seems, seems oh my god! It looks I like just little, I realized. Looks like a little witch. You party. flip that. You flip that upside down. You get the Taken King symbol. And you get, and you get, this symbol. Except this one only has one eye. But look at that. It has the same crown mm-hmm. that Oryx has on the top. But then if you flip it, it's the Taken symbol. Mm-hmm. Mind blown! I just noticed that. <laughs> that's so true. Cool. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I. Uh, it, that is a very very cool observation. That's a. I was I was sort of thinking something similar. I was like, oh, that's what yeah. you're doing. Like that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. But this is the symbol that's in the uh, in Vertigo, Crown Sorrow symbol. This is the one that's in the the crown. So it has the same, like, three dots as the... Actually, it only has three dots. Huh. Weird. But uh, it has the same, like, almost crown-like thing mm-hmm. yeah. that Oryx's has. But then it has, like, these extra lines on it, and I'm just like... Whack. But it yeah. Looks, it looks... Yeah, it looks like that first symbol, but, like, all cthulhu <laughs> Basically, yeah. I'm like, it's a Cthulhu version. It's a big spooky version. But no, because basically when you wear the crown, you kind of become a puppet, mm-hmm. basically. Because like mm-hmm. Galron, poor, poor Galron, he was a baby. He was a baby. And <laughs> Cal's like, hey, small baby, put on hat. And baby was like, I don't want to put on the hat. You're going like, to put on this hat. Put on the hat, baby. And baby's like, okay, put on hat. I'm a zombie now. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically is what happened. Oh. Like, what's crazy is, like, when you do the Leviathan, the bats encounter, you're killing newborn babies. Mm-hmm. They're clones. They're, They're literally clones. just popping out of the cloning facility. <laughs> They're like, oh, I mean, I'm I... alive! <laughs> and now we we killed them. Yeah, it's a little... I will say they do come out swinging. <laughs> they do. They do come out Which... swinging. They're like... They're like, all right, I'm, I'm ready. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say, like, it's, it's like, hmm. <laughs> like, it's not like they're friendly babies who just want you to. They're be not. Sweet they're to not them. friendly babies. <laughs> like, they're really they're mean not. babies. Yeah, and but they yeah. are huge. Just huge babies. Fully, fully grown, gigantic. Sorry, bears. <laughs> just, ah. Uh. Hmm. Oh, and and now now I'm like I'm also thinking like and I'm sure this is included in, in the stuff you've shown us, but like I'm just like now I'm thinking of all the runes that are inside that helmet. Mm-hmm. And like yeah, because I I remembered that uh, the first time we 
we beat him uh, when it first came out, and I'm just like, I'm looking inside the helmet, I was like, what the fuck is going on? There you go. This one. Yeah. It's weird. But, yeah, so basically, I'm trying to remember what we had said as a group for that. Basically, we had said that the, that middle symbol is Savath, basically Savathun's own version of taking without actually taking. Basically, I mean, I thought feel actually like... like using the taken power because well, she could have done that. Well, I like I like the way that it's sort of um. It's 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 a zombie, but it's 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 sort of like a. Like a like a like a different a different version of the zombie. So it reminds me more of like uh you know like the voodoo zombie. Like you know they get yeah. the powder blown on mm-hmm. you and like you know like you're just this like mindless drone thing that's you know stronger now and and all this other stuff yeah basically is the kind of a good way of looking at it and it it just makes me think that you know like brainwashing in that way is the perfect thing for like the 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 hive sort of like god of lies it's just like yeah like convinces you to believe she just does this else yeah it's kind of terrifying honestly but yeah (laughs) hive or whack I mean, I will say I'm glad that so far it's mostly contained to a hat I don't have to wear. <laughs> a hat, yes, it's a hat. <laughs> yeah. That you're aware of. <laughs> I, well, I mean, that's... you gotta remember, you have to remember, do you have the uh, music on when you launch Destiny 2? Uh, sub- yeah, I do. <laughs> you have been infected by Sabathun, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, but it's like... Walk, I'm... walk past the frame that's humming it in the hallway. Well, see, yes. but I'm kind of... It's terrifying. Like, if you think about how many people are probably infected, it's probably the whole the whole tower. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Zavala. That's... Ikora. Everybody. Oh, man. Us. Because think about it. It's just, it's like a little song. That, it's, like, it's like one of those, like, jingles you can't get out of your head. Mm-hmm. It's there forever. But we don't really know... What it does like, or what 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 it does? Like, we don't know yeah. what it does. Like exactly, it's the hive. It's the hive That's the terrifying of... thing. Uh-huh. Say, yeah, it's the hive version of pop music. This <laughs> <laughs> is K-pop. Just screaming. Yeah. Just the hive. It's, just it's hive. It's, it's, hive. It's, it's, yeah. I bet. I bet they thought Omnigol was like probably like a pop star or something. <laughs> They're like, oh, yes, we get to hear those Omnigol screams. Yes, those are my favorite. When when Crota's fire team visited the moon and she started to sing, they were like, guys, guys, fucking impromptu performance. She is oh singing God, yes. now. <laughs> like, yes. Oh my no God. one believed she was going to I didn't know she was going to do this. This was totally spontaneous. It was That's unplanned. That's so funny. Oh my God. That's great. You but yeah. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, I, <laughs> oh I, man! I really like that. Well, and it's 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 really interesting, um, because the the songs have power, and there it 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 goes like beyond just communication. Uh, yeah. For for it's the like hive. a spell almost. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it reminds me of like like just kind of like. So, uh, what we've seen other versions in, in incarnations of the hive, because so far I believe like it's just uh, wizards and Toland who've done the song. Mm-hmm. Or no, Toland didn't even sing the song though; he just heard it. In... I mean, he sang this in originally when he was with the Crota fire team, and they went into the Hellmouth and into Crota's in, in, into yeah. throne world. Uh-huh. Eerie, you was singing the death song, and right. Crow, or Tolan sang along with her to not die. Right. Okay. 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 That, that, and Eris sort of sat like... instead of singing the death song, which we now know what the death song is. It's them saying the the worm gods, over right. and over and over, which is kind of cool. But um. Invocation. Invoca. Yeah. Uh. Eris instead of singing, with the death song, she basically sang the members of the fire team that she'd lost and that was enough of a way to like counteract the death song so she didn't die as she was running away that's pretty sweet but um, i what... feel so bad for Eris. i just want to give her a hug and be like be okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> uh we gave her i mean i think i think i think in game in um you know the the shadow, shadow keep progr- progression. Yeah, like when yeah. we when we when we get her all her fire teams, Jim Jams. 
the Jim Jams. Yeah, <laughs> and it. and we we help her mourn and get the get the mean old darkness ghost to leave. I think I think we help her heal a little bit. I think uh, you know. Maybe, yeah, I maybe definitely felt got, like that helped. Maybe she's, she's not got, as like cynical anymore. Yeah. She's a lot more she, chill. Her, she even makes jokes. I like it. Right. <laughs> uh, she sings about the moon being made of cheese. It's a whole. Well. That no, was Savathun saying that. Yeah, but... Because like, cause, cause Shax was like, yes, this is a song Eris told me. And if you do the Prophecy Dungeon, and you uh, oh, get Titan... Oh, you were telling me the other day. Drifter and Eris arguing? Yeah, there's yeah. a Drifter and Eris arguing thing when you do the Prophecy Dungeon, if you, where they talk about... Drifter's like, hey, did you sing a song for Shax? And she's oh, like... I haven't heard that one yet. I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like... And then she's like, wait. This little ditty, did it go like this? And then she hums the Shadow Keep theme song. Yeah. And he's like, Yep, that's the one. She's like, That was not me. That was Savathun. Yeah. That's does so he still funny. does he, he was like, does that does that oaf does that big oaf still have that Ahamkara skull above his head above where he stands? And the director's like, Yeah. He's like, tell him to get rid of it. He's like, I tried. He just said, no. So, Shax oh, is man. already... We don't know. Like, what's even crazier? So, if Shax is infected, does that mean, technically speaking, do you think maybe the Crucible is affected? Do you think maybe through us killing Guardians, killing each other? I mean, yeah, we're not, like, perma-dying, but... Uh, we're killing each that, other and that. killing each other and killing each other. I wonder if that sort of killing each other sword logic tribute is also going to stab Athun because Shax is infected. Uh, what I find I... amusing is that Shax is sitting under that on bone and he's wishing for us for the rookies to be as strong as us. What does oh, no. that mean? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he's literally wishing under a car skull. <laughs> That's like terrible. Shax, you should know I better. I love it. You should know I better. Love it. No, you can't you can't stop the Shax. He is <gasps> He's, he's so just ready. like, Well, this is happening. I feel like but he'd yeah. be I feel like he'd be uh I feel like he would handle any, like, mind invasion sort of, like, in the most annoying way like Batman would. Like, he would just start humming, like, dancing in the moonlight to himself. Oh, so, my God. Like, like, they're like, all right, it's time to take control of Shax. And Shax is just, like, humming the most annoying song ever. Like and they're just like, oh, it's, it's like, they're like, all right, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's just, like, shout humming happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> And like trying yes. to come battle them. <laughs> in the, uh... That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm loving the shout hum idea. I hadn't really considered that a possibility before, but that's amazing. Oh man. <laughs> um, but, but yeah. But where I was going with it is um, you know, cause cause sound has force uh in in the real world, and I'm I'm wondering if that's like another way that the hive have found to cut into reality, cause like they can take their oh swords yeah that's true and I literally cut that. into it. And I'm wondering if, like, this, like, high-pitched, like, death noise or, like, song, that is, or songs that, that uh, they're able to invoke, I'm wondering if that's, like, another way to, like, you know... Like, Cut through reality. Through, yeah. I never thought of that. That's so smart. Thank you. My mind has been blown. <laughs> <laughs> um, that happens a lot. I dig it. I dig it. Thank you. Appreciate the compliment. Um, but, yeah, I... Uh, because that that just makes that just makes more sense because as like and i'm i'm really interested to see how how um if we ever see um Zebu Arath as well we better well yeah we but better. Um, so so what what i'm wondering is though like so like so in in the cases of like the other two twins they kind of have like archetypes that we've run into like Zebu Arath being a knight and mm -hmm. um, like you know, Savathun obviously being being a witch, right, or a wizard. Um, mm -hmm. Oryx being the navigator is is like I look back on it, like floating around, has wings, big sword, is kind of like a combination of those two archetypes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if now that Savathun is like I, I'm I'm just wondering like what changes 
or evolutions like because like Sabathun we have obviously more more information on ironically but I'm wondering if like Ironic, her, yeah. yeah if her if her transformation is kind of like the uh the transformation of the symbol so that like she's no longer in that archetype she's been changed by I mean by whatever yeah because she's trying to break free of, of her, worm. her yeah. contract of yeah. the worm yeah. yeah so it makes sense that her symbol would like change and warp almost Sure. And be like different than like the rest of the high symbols because he's trying so hard to be like, yeah, no, we're we're done. This 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 whole contract thing. I thought it was a sham in the beginning. Still a sham. I'm out. I I feel like I don't. So like there, there's a there's a very popular discussion going on in Destiny right now um, about like whether or not there'll be like a third faction that emerges. And I kind of want to submit, I think in this way, Sabathun is more likely to work with a guardian if we have utility to that end to help her escape her worm, con worm contract. Oh yeah, no, definitely, definitely. You want to know the reason why she built, she the Scarlet Keep was built? Because Sabathun convinced the Hidden Swarm that if they build the Keep, guardians will come and the Scarlet Swarm can kill them. But that's what she told them. That's a lie, because she likes to trick people. <laughs> the real reason she did it was that because she knew that we would win. She wanted to strengthen us for the upcoming battle against the darkness. She wants us to win against the darkness. She doesn't like us talking to the darkness. She's like, no, don't be <laughs> friends with them. You got to beat them. <laughs> beat them up. You got to win. So that's why Salathun is so mad right now and throwing all her, her, her bad guys at us. Because yeah. she doesn't want us to talk to the darkness. She doesn't that, want us to become friends with them. That much is clear. Yeah, I agree. Completely. Yeah, I would. Yeah, she's I would like be, no. I'd be inclined to agree with that. Also. But what I'm what I'm most excited about is when we do the weekly missions. You're going back to the dreadnought. When you do those weekly missions, when you go to Savathun's court, those places that we go to are like almost carbon copies of places from the dreadnought. Okay. So yeah. I'm hoping. I hadn't realized that. I'm hoping. I'm like crossing all my fingers. Not all of them, but like both my hands. I'm crossing my fingers that when we go to the Witch Queen, we go back to the Dreadnought. I mean, that, that, that would, would make be sense. so cool. That would make Honestly, sense. That would be so them. cool. Especially if they did the, um, how they have it now with the Ascendant Realm, how they've mm -hmm. like updated it since it was in D1. Mm -hmm. Think about having like almost like Ascendant challenges on the Dreadnought. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be pretty cool. I would. <laughs> I would. I would I would super, super duper dig that for a multiplicity of reasons. Um, and I really like that because I think that kind of puts it in a place to where, like, I don't think we would necessarily, even the first time we meet her, like, be in her throne world. Be, oh, yeah, like, no, definitely. It would be, no, we would it would be in would the not. place because I feel like the – if going back to the Dreadnought, it, like, if that's true to me, that's just, like, we're taking the Taken from her. Yes. Because like, right yeah. now, how she's – Gotta remember, you gotta take Book of Sor uh not Book of Sorrows, the uh, Truth, Truth to Power lore, the yeah. Grain of Salt, because mm -hmm. it's written by Savathun. Yep. But we know for a fact she has Kiora, who can simulate, and I mean, assuming, assuming, I know it's making assumptions, but let's say hypothetically. She, I mean, we've we've had Tolan talk about it. We've had Eris talk about. It, we've had multiple people in in game, basically say that um, Kyora is how Savathun controls the Taken. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I've heard that, and I really like it, especially in um, the things we've seen her do. Different missions, uh, Bales and I have discussed on uh, some past episodes that uh, seem to have her beginning with the Vex. Yeah, like new Taken mm -hmm. acquisitions in the system. In the system, yeah, because, I mean, she is Kiora, Kiora can take, and then there's a Vex, can take other Vex a lot easier, maybe, who knows. That's kind of what it seems like, yeah, but yep, go ahead. What I'm, what I started thinking of, since they're bringing back Vaults of Glass, this is like spin foil, this is like spin foil theory time, <laughs> this is like the I'm big crazy. I'm here for it. So, if Vogue is coming back, and they said in the interview, they're not just, you know, oh, it's here, you can do it. They're giving actual lore reasons as to why mm -hmm. it's back. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, when Witch Queen comes out, they could easily, assuming we head to the Dreadnought, they could very easily bring back King's Fall and Crota's End. Very mm -hmm. easily. 
So mm-hmm. easy. You want to know how? Take so it. easy. Basically, <laughs> Kiora, Blade Transform, can simulate mm-hmm. Oryx. Mm-hmm. Terrify. Like, in his... Not just Oryx, Oryx. I mean, Oryx at, like, peak of his power. Oh, I can snap my fingers and take these guys. Oh, I can snap my fingers over here. Oh, look, they're taken. Mwahaha. Because before, Kiora couldn't simulate Oryx. It could... Kiora could only simulate Arash. Baby Oryx. Mm-hmm. Before, before it was he paracausal. made the pact with the worm. Yep. And he was all like, what have we done? What have we done? <laughs> Basically. But now that Kiora has learned hive magic and has been in the accompanying Savathun, you could just basically have King's Fall be Kiora simulating King's Fall. And we have to go through that, otherwise Savathun could get more power. Absolutely. That would be yep. bad. Same thing with Crota. Boom. Mm-hmm. Trying um, to, like, if she sim, like, Kiora could simulate Crota to try to get the rest of the hive in the system. I mean, most of the hive already are, but, like, to have a new threat to kind of divide the guardians or whatever. I would, I wouldn't mind, uh, one way or another, yeah, having, having, getting to uh, revisit some of that content because it was a lot of fun in uh, Shadow oh, yeah. to uh, go in and just even if it's like a small version of it, to go in and just down Crota. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that was so fun, especially mm-hmm. the very last mission when you're in Crota's throne world. I was like, yeah. I'm back, <laughs> yay! Oh, I was yeah. so happy so, for the Crota Raiders so already. I, I do have to say <laughs> this though: if we go back to the Dreadnought, they need to bring back the real court of oryx you know what yes. i'm talking about i'm talking about the dunk contest capital of yes. destiny <laughs> the real court of oryx because oh yeah i ball remember is that life. <laughs> ball is life yeah. oh my gosh but what's interesting that i had always argued with a bunch of people is so um if you can kill people in other people, assuming like Ascendant Hive. So we have like Iriute. We know Omnigal's in Ascendant Hive, for example. Mm-hmm. We can also mm, assume that Crota's sisters are Ascendant Hive and all of the Court of Oryx is Ascendant Hive. Yep. We didn't kill the Court of Oryx mm-hmm. in their Ascendant Realm. They would come through that portal and be like, surprise! We right. hear, yeah. and then we we kill them on Oryx's dreadnought. My question is mostly, where the heck is the rest of the court of Oryx? Where's Crota's sisters? That's my been thing. Like, where are they? Where are my pyramid head wizards? Where uh, are they? I mean, uh, well, so so spe- speaking of that, I I I've wondered that myself because I'm wondering if there's infighting because you know the hive, the hive all being one big pyramid scheme of like yes. tribute like now that the head's chopped off you had in my view like all too this, many people at this. the same level for it to work in, yeah yeah you need someone at the top of the pyramid but everyone was like no i want to be the top pyramid no 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 no, no. i want to be top of the pyramid right. and there's all this infighting which mm-hmm. just made the whole whole basically think of it as like an actual literal three-sided i guess that would that be four be four sides because the bottom side but whatever there's th- basically three different triangles one triangle is Oryx's, one triangle is Savathun's, and one is Ziva Wrath. Yeah. When Oryx died, that didn't affect Savathun's or Ziva Wrath's pyramid. It's it affected everyone Oryx's. Everyone below him, yeah. It's everyone and below everyone, him. And the whole pyramid kind of just fell apart. So it's, it's, Because yeah. there wasn't a top anymore. So it's not a pyramid. A it's a Like, what happened? And I would, actually, I would actually really like if that's how they divvied out uh, what Oryx had. Like, Ziva Wrath maybe gets, gets his live hive. And then yeah. uh, Savathun got the Taken. Maybe, but, maybe. I mean, that would be interesting. They have always what I think been is interesting to each other. Is if you do one of the missions on the Dreaming City, it's the one where you go f- f- help the observatory. Um, you do that, and there are Taken there that are daughter of Zivu Arath, son mm-hmm. of Zivu Arath, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. which got me thinking. It made me remember of remember Malak from D yep. One. Yep. How he was a he was the son of Savathun. He went in to try and get some tribute and help Savathun out. And Oryx was like, "I see what you're doing. No, <laughs> I'm gonna bang him. You taken now. Now your tribute's going to me. I'm gonna rename you Malak because you a liar and you poison. 
Ha! <laughs> Suck. Basically, so my <clears throat> thought process is maybe that's Zivu Arath heard Savathun's scheme. Because some people are like, oh, maybe Zivu Arath and Savathun are working together. I don't know if that's really the case. Because if we, if if so, I feel like we would see a lot more of like Zivu Arath named so, enemies. Right. We literally have a small handful. It's there were some in the in the Forsaken first mission of Forsaken in the in the prison of elders. It was like two, like big would, guys, but that was really it. I and then, wonder if Sabathun is like introducing some of those enemies just to throw us off, and maybe th- that's throw also off true. She could be doing that. <laughs> She's crazy. I I made this joke to my friend, and I'm like, everything Sabathun, okay, dime <laughs> Sabathun, uh. Ava Shadow Levante? Keep? Savathun. Eva Levante? Eva Savathun. is definitely Savathun. We've already established this. Eris? Yeah. Savathun. Me? Savathun. My friend lost it. He was just thinking it was so funny. Oh, man. But, I, um... It's, it's... Basically... <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I, I was gonna say it'd be like in the Matrix if all the Mr. Smiths started, like, in like rebelling against each other. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, my, I'm just interested... My main thing is I'm... As of right now, my theory is that um, the Zebra Wrath that we've seen in the game so far are Zebra are basically they're trying to steal tribute from Savathun to help Zebra Wrath out, kind of like what Malak was doing. Sure. That's what I'm thinking so far. And then for the ones that are taken, Savathun's like, Mm-mm-mm. no, you're not, you're not, you're not infringing upon my my loop my dreaming city loop that is my plan i made this not you get out bam well, now you're I mean, taken i would i would also offer that uh like the the only mode that i'm pretty sure we've seen in the lore at all that zebra wrath has stuck to has been sending out war moons so they could just yes. be like you know she's sending them out in every direction because she's like i need to make some war find i need to some fight. war <laughs> yeah so yeah. and they could well, yeah because we do like, yeah. we do know that the cabal and the hive have fought before mm-hmm. we know that for a fact yep which is interesting and yeah that's where callus found the Dolron's helmet was he found it on a, an abandoned war mint yep oh man if if Savathun gets rid of her worm successfully mm-hmm. and then Zivirath absorbs what's left of her pyramid too. Zivirath would potentially become the strongest of the siblings that ever. Like it would be Oryx level going down to kill Akka. Basically, yeah. That's what I'm intrigued about is to see like we know Savathun. Savathun, I think, is on a different level than Oryx. She makes what Oryx did look like child's play at at this point. <laughs> She has her, like, tendrils pretty much everywhere, mm-hmm. which is terrifying. We don't even know what to believe anymore. Everything's Savathun. Yeah, the, the thing against Z- Zivu is that basically he's, as we understand it, he's very straightforward. Or she, excuse me. Yeah, she's, she's very straightforward. Um, just, so I'm much more um, concerned about Savathun from the perspective of <laughs> if if she comes for us full force... Uh, we won't even see it coming, essentially. Whereas Zivu, we're it's going to be like an Oryx en- entrance, but much grander, I would imagine. It's just everything. Yeah, that's kind of what I think. Well, I, just, I, I think if I think if we if she's the third one that we meet, we are so effed. In, like we are so effed. But still, Zivu would have to, from how the sword logic typically works, if Zivu herself didn't kill her sisters, um, then she wouldn't get the strength. Uh, strength I, from them. That's, that's typically that's sort of. I guess she would get the remaining hive from maybe their factions, but that's 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 what I'm talking about though. Because like at, at the end of the day, like even even if it's not like an instant power up, that is what put them at the power level that they were at that pushed or- Oryx over the edge. And so if we remove, basically, if we, <laughs> it was a triumvirate, now it's a duality. And if we remove, if we put it down to one person, that's all the hive now going like to one point. And we have not dealt with something of that magnitude before. Hmm. I don't know. Like that, that is like, holy crap. <laughs> oh, that tribute just flowing up in one direction. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Like, 
<laughs> like it, yeah, like that. That might be, like, cause I, I'm scared. I, 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 I think the the machinations of, of uh, Sabathun are like, like, holy shit. But like, I, like, keeping secrets isn't necessarily a destructive pastime. <laughs> like, and lying to everyone isn't necessarily like, a, a, a universe-ending trait. Like making war on everything you see <laughs> like it seems a bit excessive you can argue that making secrets is much more effective as a combat style a because you don't you typically have to expend your forces and b because you can de- divide and conquer amongst your enemy oh so, no i just mean, find, i just mean find a way to split up well no I, I just mean even if we whether whether it's we end up killing savathun uh before or after she loses her worm if she ever does or like what have you i feel like i'm i would be less worried about humanity completely becoming destroyed because we as we know now like her goals like we're a pawn to her she would use humanity if she had to and that could cause its destruction but she is not even out to destroy us she doesn't really care that much (laughs) like like from the sound of it like if Zivu Honestly, Arath shows I'm... up, Zivu Arath is making war. Like, that's what's going oh, yeah. down. That's, that's like... true. I won't deny that. Zivu yeah. is, is just out to conquer. That, that's, that much is very true. But Sabathu and her motives are unclear. Uh, well, that, that's so... what I'm saying. But, like, I, I I trust that uncertainty right now more than I trust the certainty of what Zivu Arath would do. That's fair. That's fair. Like, I, like there's at least a chance that... That even if even if Savathun completely won, like everyone's not completely effed or like completely destroyed, because I think she's the type that would want to also like you can't keep secrets from anyone if everyone's dead. Yeah, that's the main reason why she wants us to win against the darkness, because she knows that the darkness wins. Uh, there's gonna be no one left, and uh, she's gonna be like, well, this is boring. I can't keep secrets <laughs> yeah. from everyone because everyone's a bunch of skulls. Ah, yes, I will keep a secret from this skull. Yes, that totally helps. Though. Yeah, or like, what, she makes, like, <laughs> she keeps secrets from Quoria? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you how to simulate him. <laughs> like, it, it, just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like a, like a very good goal for, for uh, Sabathun to have. But like, Steven Arath is, like, it's, it's, it's more... To, especially if she's the at the top of the pyramid like we described so i guess i'm still like thinking with that in my mind like mm-hmm. she is almost more frightening in her simplicity like yes zivu smash <laughs> 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 she could basically be like thanos like when thanos threw a freaking moon at uh iron man yeah. she could do that and just be like i'm just gonna throw moons at you just keep throwing <laughs> moons i'll just throw moons at the last city are they dead yet are they dead yet? Are they dead yet? No. Nope. Okay, just gonna keep throwing warmings. Just keep doing hits, it. Hits us with our own moon, like stop hitting yourself. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna be like stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh my god. She is an older sibling bully. <laughs> it's her entire character. Everyone else is filled with intrigue and like, you know, nail biting lore. Not Zifu. <laughs> There's no oh, okay. great book. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on board for this. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> overly, overly simple, like, doesn't speak in whole sentences. Not because she can't. It's, it's inefficient. Yeah, like... <laughs> why, why use whole words when few words do trick? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, that's... Zeke was the, the titan of the group. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, I mean, Indeed. she hundred percent is. And what 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 makes me sad about this is Oryx was the hunter, and all he did was float around and act like the other two. And I was like, man, you don't even jump. <laughs> what kind of hunter doesn't jump? Uh, we don't need jumps. Lady, lady, uh, I I, I wanted to ask actually, what uh, what is your class main who do you who do you Ooh, what do i mean ask? yeah that's a really 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 tough question because see <laughs> i um back in d1 i was a hunter main because i thought mm-hmm. hunters were cool because i like being invisible i like blade dancer i was i like i did blade dancer specifically for invis because mm-hmm. i was like i 
I can just be invisible all the time. And it was great. And then Tether came out. And I'm like, purple, favorite color. Bows, <laughs> I love archery. Sign me up. Smoke so bombs? Tether. Smoke bombs? Dodging? Cool. Yeah. So basically, um, so the Hunter Main D1. D2 came out. Still Hunter Main. Shadow Keep, not Shadow Keep, Forsaken came out. Mm-hmm. But the whole Dreaming City stuff, I'm like... Goodbye, Hunter. Hello, Warlock. It's my Warlock, so welcome. <laughs> so I was, I was a Warlock main for the first season of Forsaken. Then I went back to being a Hunter because... No. Then Black Armory came out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I like this stuff. Titan. I became a Titan main for one season. <laughs> oh. I, love, I still, to this day, love the Black Armory aesthetic for Titans. I'm just ever so... I'm just a little tiny bit salty. Tidy bit, tidy bit. So before New Light came out, I realized I had, I hate the color pink. Hate Mm. it. I just hate the color pink. When I had made my Mm Exo-Titan, I had accidentally made her eyes pink instead of purple. Love it. And I'm like, I cannot stand for this. (laughs) So I was, I deleted, I I thought, I was like, okay, I can wait for New Light and just delete my Titan so I can experience the, the mission, or I can just delete it now. But my friends were like, but then you'd have to do all the subclass stuff and everything else. I'm like, shit, that's a lo- that's right. So I waited until New Light came out. And then I deleted my Titan. Unknowest to me, I forgot that they changed the intro quest for Ada. So now mm-hmm. Ada hates my Titan, even though I redid the Niobe Labs. I redid I redid Niobe freaking Labs. I hated Aww. that shit. <laughs> I re-got Izanagis. I, I did, like, me. everything. And she's still just like... Guardian. Angry face. And I'm just like, Ada, why? I've done everything. I have the I blacksmith really... title. So, what do you want from me? What what I love about that transformation when she starts being nice to you is that is like I feel like you know how sometimes at work, um, you'll have that one person who's like just really abrasive with everyone. And then yeah. like every now oh, and yeah, again yeah. if you're like the right type of friendly or just like don't really care too much about tone if they're not saying anything. Uh, like, yeah. like, like, they're just being direct, like, that. that's cool. And then, like, like, you, like, I felt like I won that person over, the Towers version of that person. Yes. And I, 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 like, I just, hi. <laughs> my just the biggest complaint is right now on my Titan, just my Titan, I get both new light dialogue and veteran dialogue. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it hurts my brain. Because I'd get, like, if I'm doing, like, a public event or something. Then I'd be like, hey, Devram would be like, all right, just do let you, you're a great hero of the Red War. You got this. Then I complete the public event and then Devram's like, oh, you're a new guardian. Come stop by for tea. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> huh? Like, could we please when like the new expansion comes out, can we have like a toggle for I- either new light dialogue or have... veteran dialogue and have it be per character? Well, then, then there's because, also, like, I'm sorry. It's just really frustrating, cause like, I just what why? But I don't know. It's like these all this little like weird nuanced things. Like, technically speaking, Ada should be friends with all guardians now because of the events of the Black Armory mm-hmm. campaign. Mm-hmm. She should be friendly with all of them now. So it shouldn't matter. So why does she still yell at my Titan? Every time. I just cry. He knows. I just cry. Because I literally... My Titan is looks like something like out of the black armor. I wear like the full black armory armor. I have the Niobe Labs ghost. I have the sparrow, <laughs> the ship. Even my my Titan's face looks like something out of like black armor. Because I have like the black. And then I have like... There's like the one uh, XO face paint that's like an upside down U. Mm-hmm. Like that's basically the black armory symbol. So I did that, made it uh-huh, white. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Voila, Titan black armory. There you go. I like it. I like it. I'm just, I... I'm just, I'm just salty. I'm just. That's the one thing I'm salty about. Like, I wish I had a time machine. Not so I could like fix all the world's problems. Just so I could go back like uh about a year ago, and tell myself, don't delete your Titan. Delete your Titan before New Light comes out. It doesn't matter. You <laughs> have a Smurf account. You dumb dumb. <laughs> that's what i'd do so then i would have my titan look how i want and i would go through and i would redo the freaking quest i'd do it just so ada would be nice to my titan <laughs> i'm just sad that's the only thing i'm sad 
So I did that, and then Season of the Drifter came out. And then pretty much from Season of the Drifter on, I've been a Hunter main again. But now, now that I'm... I mean, I'm maxed with all three of my characters. I kind of am... I'm the one person in my clan that I'm, like, pretty versatile. Like, if we're doing a raid and we don't have any titans, I'm like, alright, I'll be a titan. Sure. Oh, we we have a shortage of warlock? Okay, I'll be a warlock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's kind of me. I don't really have a main. I mean, right now, I play my hunter the most, my titan the second most, and my warlock the least right now. Mm-hmm. And that's only because I play as my titan in Crucible, and I'm really evil, and I don't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I run a hundred discipline. Oh, no. With armamentarium. So I have double grenades. Oh, no. Her and I run nine hunger with demolitionist. <laughs> Oh, and man. I run bubble <laughs> and suppression grenades. You are the fun police. <laughs> I am the fun police. No, there was one time in comp where I had a hunter rush me with um, spin, uh, spinny super. Not spinny super. Um, oh, deflect uh, arc staff. Deflect arc staff. Yep. And it was so funny. He was deflecting because he thought I was going to shoot him. Instead, I just threw a grenade at his feet <laughs> and he was blocking. So the grenade was still at his feet as he uh-huh. kept walking forward. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then it went off and he just stood there and he was like huh I'm gonna say hello to my little friend <laughs> and then he died and then after that he him and his buddies were very very aggressive <laughs> I love I'm it. just like I'm, I'm... Yeah, and then there was another time when I think it was like zero zero lives and there was a titan and he popped his super to like cap the point and he was turning hammers and I'm like no 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 super for you throws <laughs> grenade outs of super and then we killed him. And I'm just like, see, guys, I've even gotten it where I got a Dawn Blade out of their super <laughs> with okay. my suppression units. I've gotten pretty good with them. It's really terrible. And I feel a tiny bit bad, just a little nah. bit. But then nah. Nah. I remember I'm literally one reset away from Unbroken. So <laughs> I need to just I just have to use whatever destroy them. Don't apologize. I just have to do whatever it takes. Uh, do what it takes. I'm just, I'm just salty because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the flawless seal, ever, which makes me sad. I don't have any friends who play trials, and they're like, not I don't say friends that play trials, friends that are good at PvP sure. and want to play trials. Because I have yeah. friends that are good at PvP, but they're like, nah, trials sucks. I don't want to do it. So I'm know, like, please. You know, maybe, maybe we got, maybe we got a couple streamer friends that can help. Oh shit, streamer friends? Oh shit, no. Yeah. I've only gone flawless once in my entire life, and that was in D2, not that long ago on my Titan, with um, one of my friends. He's He already has the flawless title, so he was helping me out, and we got a random guy on LFG, and it was really funny, because the first guy we got, he was not very good at carrying. He would not mm-hmm. listen. Like, my buddy Ghost, he would say, hey, uh, watch out, there's a sniper over there. Mm-hmm. The guy would peek, get sniped, and we're just like... Mm-hmm. We literally just... Right. It's okay, I've done the same thing. I would literally... There, there was a sniper lane, and I'd be like, I have to I have to kill them. We can't just stand here and do nothing. And my friend's like, actually, we can. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. but... It's, it's a great strategy. I want, a legitimate strategy in trials, especially. I want to punch them. I want to throw my grenades. And they're like, <laughs> no. calm down, Titan. <laughs> easy, easy. But yeah. It's just it's just been funny. I'm I'm not the best at PvP. I just try to more have fun. The thing that I love the most are raids though. Raids are the best. And Absolutely. dungeons. Yeah, raids yeah. and dungeons. I'm, I'm with you there. <laughs> we gotta do I love the prophecy dungeon. Yep. Ra- Ribbon it's... Road. Yo. Yes, Ribbon Road. Like they need to bring back Sparrow Racing. Come on, Dungeon. Oh, Come on, I was, I would be so hype. I'm I'm I would even stream for it because like not to that would be so fun like not, sparrow racing not to toot my own horn i was actually really oh. really good at srl yes. <laughs> like and it's like like i'm i'm okay at a lot of stuff I, like this is not a woe is me but like oh man yeah not every I mean, not here's, every day here's what like they could favorite, do yeah here's what they could do like all you know how for, for right now for some weird ass reason Amanda Holiday has like the the replaying the story campaigns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's tough. She First of all, to do. that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. You take those, you give them to Ikora, who has nothing to do because she's mm-hmm. a smart warlock. Mm-hmm. Give that to Ikora and give Amanda Holiday Sparrow Racing. No, I Boom. love it. I get have it be like another for fun. Like I think there are so many like just playing Destiny too. 
There are so many things like, oh, that could be a Sparrow Racing. You got Rainbow Road, obviously. Ribbon, or I guess uh, Ribbon Road. Ribbon and then Ribbon, we have the, um, <laughs> the Tree of Probabilities when you're on Mercury. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's another one. Mm-hmm. And then there's, um, you could just have like so many. You could have I mean, that's, you that's could the one that on Mercury has. where you go yeah. through portals and then you end up in like the, the past version of Mercury and then you go through another portal, you end oh, up in the present man. version and then you go through another portal and it's like the future. Like that'd be so crazy. Be... All these portals and jumping. <laughs> I would like be I just so ugh. happy. Well, and then and... They, you could give an actual like thing for Amanda Holiday to do. Mm-hmm. She could like be in charge of the sparrow race, and then it'd be like kind of like how you know how Crucible nah. has its own like <laughs> level up system, or I guess rank. You could have your own rank for sparrow racing, and like if you get really yep. high, yep. you can get like sparrow racing armor. Yep. And this is gonna sound crazy, but instead of doing armor 2.0, have sparrow 2.0. Or you can just have whatever spare you want, so you don't have to and run put whatever like, mods you want on it. Yeah. Yeah, you you can get like these really good mods for sparrow racing just oh, by mm-hmm. like ones that'll make your like um I don't know like something they, like they did for the related. SRL in the armor. Yeah. Like when, when you could put yeah. on when you put on the SRL specific armor, what I, what I could yeah call they the could have suit. that like have like mods for the SRL armor or SRL sparrows if you mm-hmm. want to do that and. And maybe yeah. they could be they could have like an SRL themed ghost shell that'd be like a holographic one, kinda like the bunny one. I like that it. That you can get from doing prophecy solo. Like that. And have it be like you get increased like like XP in sparrow racing or stuff like that. Yeah, they're, like, they're making all these these cool designs and then you can't use them because the perks suck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what makes me so mad. Like one of my friends, he really wants the uh the bunny ghost shell. But it doesn't have guiding light on it. So he's like, mm-hmm. ugh. Sucks. Yep. Like I think Bungie should do a Ghost 2.0. Well, I just I, I liked it more when the uh, when the Ghost shell was just cosmetic. Back yeah. In yeah. One. I, I liked that more. That I thought that was that was yeah. a lot more fun. Yeah. Just have those perks natively to our characters, and and then yeah, we'll run with well, whatever we want. <laughs> I mean, I mean, call call me call me dumb. Just bring back the token. Remember the token slot. Now now we kind of have that with the artifact, but like mm-hmm. you could just put those two perks there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Like equip, equip. I don't know something there. I just, the I just, the shell. yeah. Because like, for example, basically the ghost shell you want, you want speed demon, yep. and you want guiding, guiding light. light. Guiding light. Yep. And those only exist right now. I mean, the ones that I have that have that are like the ones from Guardian games. Yep. Oh, so, yeah. so if we... you didn't, if you didn't do Guardian games, like some of my friends, they were like kind of took a break because yeah. they thought Guardian games was dumb, so and uh, they there's... didn't get the cool ghost shell. So there's, like a couple, that there's a couple other sources. Um, me and the bagels actually did it back when you could, through a glitch in the Destiny app, mm-hmm. you could turn the um, the totem shell, which is the little servitor boy. Mm-hmm. Um, <gasps> you can you could you could change, basically, if you rolled speed demon, you could change the first perk to guiding light, is what I think it was, or maybe vice versa. Yeah, it was one or the other. Oh my yeah, gosh, and, and so we we did that, and that that's why like me, I'm just like I'm gonna keep you on because you've been good to me. But um, you oh, can yeah, yeah, also yeah. get you can also get that that perk combination right now from the uh, the charity ghost. It comes with oh right with right 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 the charity ghost. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. Um, but yeah, yeah. So and I think something like, like that I think would be it, yeah. would be cool. And then it's another thing I think they should change. Um, I don't know. I don't think they. I personally I don't think they should get rid of the Leviathan raids or Scourge of the Past. Just me personally, I don't like them. Getting rid yeah. of raids. That's I my agree. only complaint. I mean, like, I understand, like, I guess what they could do is they could turn, like, um, the raid, la- like, the easier raid layers, like, um, Eater of Worlds into a dungeon instead. They could very easily do that, I think. That's fair. I like, I like some of or, that. I, th- I think some of them are coming back, like... They're not gone forever. They're gonna come back in yeah, that rotation not... of stuff because, like, we're not gonna like once, uh, for example, once Vault of Glass comes back, that's gonna get rotated out again. But like, yeah, it's like, it's like a rotating dark system. below. Yeah, so like, I think this is just gonna be at the end of that system. Oh, so, every like... of every year, it's gonna be like a rotating. Okay, the you guys yeah. like. They might get rid of Last Wish, which would be really sad. Mm-hmm. Don't get rid of Last Wish, Bungie. I like that. Rate. I think, I think that's that's staying right because that location. Yeah, is Last staying. Wish is staying, <laughs> and the... Garden is staying. There's only going to be three raids available when Beyond yeah. Light launches. Yeah. Last Wish, 
guard and then the new ray. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm excited for the new. I'm excited yeah. for... I've, I've been new waiting robot. for a new raid for so long. <laughs> Garden's gotten a little stale at this point. I'm not gonna Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gotten a little stale. Eh, all right. We have our warlock with divinity. Everyone else, we're in xenophage. Bye-bye, boss. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, so people. funny. I still need... I still need to get that goddamn anarchy. Still you only need get that. anarchy. I got you. I need the anarchy. We, well, it, it was... Mind help. Yeah, it was... Thank you. It was it was really sad. I, I think we told you before we uh, the show started, um, for fans listening, I ran with the bagels earlier this week, you guys, and literally, bagels, who's been had the anarchy, was the only dude who anarchy dropped for. <laughs> I've had anarchy for so long. <laughs> yeah, he was like the first dude. And you know what I hate? The only one, the only raid like exotic by drop that I had, had any luck with was, was uh, Taraba. And honestly, like it's it's a little gimmicky, but it's not that fun. Terraba gets a bad name. Take that into Gambit Prime. It's a lot of fun. No, I know, it's... I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. But I would say there's other <laughs> options, particularly fourth horse, yeah. that just outclass it in anything you would use it for. Like like if you if you're taking an exotic into Gambit and you play Sentry, the you and you don't have fourth horseman. I just I feel like I need to take your jersey. Like I don't know if you're yeah. a Sentry fam. <laughs> yeah, I use no. I I used to use for my Sentry loaded. I used to use um Lord of Wolves, but then it got nerfed, so I mm. cry. And yeah, now I use like Fourth Horseman. Dude, yeah, for my... B- Bagels, yeah. Uh, Jotun, Jotun's fun for like an invader or like someone who like kind of is also doing like some like reaping stuff. I I cannot stress to you how literally Fourth Horseman melts absolutely everything. I get that. Jotun just has a little bit more flexibility, which is why I like it. So. Well, I mean, yeah, you're gonna wanna you're gonna want like a heavy machine gun as your heavy at that point, since you can take care of most things with a uh, with your shotgun at that point. Mm-hmm. So you would want like a PvP centric. I really want to see when they come up with the goddamn um, masterwork. Speaking of Gambit, my my true love back when back when Gambit first came out was the uh, the Queen Breaker. Mm-hmm. And I, I, for it. I want that catalyst. I want it so bad. Just amp up the aim assist. <laughs> Just turn it back. Turn no. it back to how it was. No, please, no. Dude, that was so bad. I, so dude, bad. I was, I was, I was. They go. I think I was playing with you as well. Like I know we knew each other back then, but I, th- I think like you saw it too, man. Like I was mean with that. I was so <laughs> goddamn mean with that, and I was still mean with it after. But then like other stuff, like. It had declined to the point that other stuff was more useful. Mm-hmm. It's not that it was even like that hard to use. I really, really enjoy the uh, the drifters one though. The uh, as far as linears go, the uh, what's it called? I can't remember the name, but it's the one that shoots a slug instead of a. Uh... Oh, you're talking about arbalist. That's arbalist. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not where the other one's at, but the fact that it runs off of uh... that. The that's kinetic. another. Yeah, that's another very fun one to use. Yeah, in, I I, in I like Arbalest. I I prefer it in Crucible over in, using Gambit, but yeah, it's it's actually pretty good in Crucible. Well, Gambit, I, it it is because that's how I got the um, that's how I got that one seasonal. Yeah, the, Komodo. The, yeah, the Kom- I was gonna say yeah, the dragon. Um, but yeah, the um, <laughs> I was uh, it 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 it, it was like a pleasure to use. Mm-hmm. But man. It was it was fun that that was like the only fun part about that quest because once I got Komodo it just went straight in the vault. Yeah, Komodo, it's it's okay, but there's nothing special about it. Exactly. Exactly, kind of a letdown for. But they've gotten better about uh, I think the seasonal weapons too. Um, oh yeah, definitely. I like what they're doing. I'm just I'm curious to see how they're because they said they're gonna consolidate Gambit and Gambit Prime into one singular playlist. Mm-hmm. I'm just interested to see what they're gonna do because like i hope it just goes back how... to regular gambit Personally. but what about my gambit prime armor i worked so hard to get it and i got armor 2.0 you can versions use it. of oh, it really? you can use oh, it geez. if you have a copy of it you can use it as a uh, as a shader or whatever a skin uh, uh transpoc yeah <laughs> yeah here's my thing though assuming 
Like, what's interesting, though, if you have the Gambit Prime Armor, you can't put ornaments on it, which I think makes sense, because it gives you... Gambit Prime Armor gives you a distinct advantage in Gambit Prime. Just like exotics. Yeah, they're kind of like exotics. You can't put ornaments on exotic. I mean, you can put ornaments, but you can't put, like, transmog. Yeah, yeah, um, which makes, makes sense. It makes it clear that it's an exotic and what it does. Yeah. So, I won- I don't know. I kind of like the Gambit Prime thing, but... I'm I'm kind of crazy, and I have the Reckoner title. <laughs> <Same>. So <laughs> I like Gambit Prime. Uh, here's the like, Gambit Prime when you are going in solo sucks. Mm-hmm. It sucks. As you go team? in with the four as a team as a four stack mm-hmm. with everyone with the full armor and using exotics, and the other team the all thing. using the four armor sets. It's insane. You gotta uh-huh. like look out for giant blockers. You gotta look out. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! The invaders here. All right. Sentry, you gotta mark him. Oh, shoot, he locked down the bank. We gotta kill him. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. It's a lot f- more fun, with especially if you're going with your friends. Mm-hmm. That's what I do for Gambit Prime. I agree. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 so, I hear you, and I think that is a great feature of, of Gambit Prime, especially, like, some of, like, the wacky stuff you can do uh, with the with the different suits. But something about the having the different rounds of regular Gambit where like you're back, you're back in the derelict, and you're emoting at each other, and especially, I actually enjoyed it when it was three full rounds, as opposed to like the. But I, I, I do think it's also good to go like straight for like the sudden death in the third one. It's, it's just something about that that interaction that makes it so much more like a sporty game version oh, yeah, of definitely. Destiny to me, that like I really enjoy, and I think it's kind of lost on Prime a little bit. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Cause especially and it kind of makes there, sense. Oh, sorry. I was, oh, I, I just, just just right out. Especially if you're in there that, like, if you go three rounds, that second time in between that you're back in the derelict is just like, oh, now shit's getting real. <laughs> yeah. But, I'm a hunter. I'm like, okay, yes. Luckily, before that, swap to middle tree, swap to blade barrage. Okay, right. we're going to win, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just an auto-win code if the other team doesn't have it. <laughs> just, Bam, the blade barrage. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Well, that's true. That's a good point. Then you have that one guy who invades with Golden Gun. Pew, pew. That's me. Pew, pew, pew. That's me. I invade. I use um, Golden Gun and Xenophage and Revoker. Oh, I'm not a nice person. <laughs> I'm not a nice person. I... There was one time where I got, like, oh, I think almost 20 kills as an invader. Mm-hmm. It was spicy. I was wearing the full invader set. I was like, I've had enough. My <laughs> friends, they were trying to get, they were trying to get the last reset for Dredgen. Oh, uh, sure, sure. With last week, with or I guess it was, yeah, it was last week with the three times infamy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, we can do Gambit Prime. That'll be fun. So I was, and then someone was like, all right, I want to be Reaper. I want to be Sentry. And I was like, I just, I'll just collect melt. I'm like, oh. I guess that means I'm, I'm the invader. <laughs> I'll have a rock. <laughs> Okay, this is fine. And then I looked at my armor, and I don't. Apparently, I dismantled my um, invader boots, so I didn't have boots. I was like, shoot. I'm like, wait, I have the coin things. I can just Mm -hmm. use a coin thing. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. So I put on stompies, and then I went in. As one does. And um, I wiped the whole enemy team, and then I made someone leave. And I was like, oops. I'm sorry. (laughs) I I killed two guys with 15 moats. Oh, jeez. That's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, I love, I really like Gambit. I don't know. I'd be kind of sad if Gambit Prime goes away because I think Gambit Prime's really fun. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't know. It would almost be, make more sense to have regular Gambit be almost like solo queue. Or not solo, but you can go in solo queue or not, but maybe make Gambit Prime more for teams. Kind of like how... Like, um, a comp, uh, like a trials or like comp. Yeah, yeah, like trials or like with trials, yeah. you have to have a fire team to go into. You can't do it solo. An interesting concept, it, like Gambit. Prime because has, like, has, like I, pretty much everyone who I've talked to has said Gambit Prime sucks when you're by yourself. It does. <laughs> so like, wouldn't it make more sense to alleviate that issue and just make Gambit Prime be like a fire team play? Like, you can you can't go in by yourself. But you can go with like two or three or even a full team. I think that would be really interesting. Yeah. Maybe make it a little bit better. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. I'd, I'd definitely give it a shot if 
it was up to me. <laughs> or, like, if it came out like that, I'd be like, oh, okay. I see the difference in it now. Because, like, right now, it's just like, how much do you like playing Gambit? Do you want to play a longer version of Gambit? Or do you want to play a shorter version of Gambit, but is harder? Is maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah. The shorter <laughs> version. It'll be, like, a little bit more, I wouldn't say difficult, but, like, there's no communication. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like freelance versus... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, versus regular, regular comp. Yep. Regular comp. I want... I want the freelance playlist back for everything. Like it was at uh, in Rise of Iron. Oh, for, for yeah. just casuals, sure. Yeah, just like just any anything that there is. I feel like back then it was like everything that was competitive. Yeah, there there was a freelance for like sixes and whatnot. Yep. I think I'll also Iron Banner. Like that was that was what a time to be alive. Uh, I'm not so sure about Iron Banner. I think Iron Banner was. Like, people seem to have rose-colored glasses with Iron Banner. I remember Iron Banner was <laughs> just stopping over people, even if he won. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I- Iron Banner is a very... it's I Playing the Iron Banner is like participating in a video of one-sided fights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Either one way or the other, and that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, and even if your scores are similar, it's not that they're not killing you, it's that they're not capping the points. Uh-huh. The fight is still very one-sided. They've just prolonged it by, <laughs> by way of math. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see where we're at on recording now. Oh, man. We have, we've, got a lot, we've got some sweet, sweet content, you guys. <laughs> so much content. I'm going to use... I talk too so much. much. I'm sorry. Oh, dude, You're no, good. don't be sorry. That's this, literally... This, this you blast. came... I, 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 I honestly like I just want to put this out there. You literally came on a talk show. Like if, I did, yeah, I did. If Come you on. if you did not if you did not talk, I really don't know. Like I mean, what are we I, doing? Why are you here? Yeah, like I would I would have been like, and I I, I would have been I would have been engaging the heck out of been like, so later this dinner, what do you think? And what, what about think? what about this? What about this? About um, that? this no. is. I just talk a lot. I'm sorry. Oh no, dude, you're 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 in good company for it. Uh, Sweet. Literally, literally, what we do in our free time for fun is do stuff to make other people listen to us talk. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't worry, bagels. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Leave that one. <laughs> um. But yeah, thank you, thank you so much for 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 coming on the show here. Um, I know. No problem. I know um, that you know through through your your storytelling and 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 educating us uh, and and the listeners tonight. You, you've mentioned a couple of the places that that you can be found, uh, but where officially can any new fans Ooh. or uh, fans that you already had uh, find you? Find me? Where the can they find me? Yeah. I'm mainly active on Twitter. Uh, mm-hmm. Same handle, Lady Lucida. And I do have a Twitch channel, but I haven't live streamed that in a very, very long time because I'm lazy. I kind of was like, oh, yeah, I should live stream quarantine. And then I'm just like, let's no. work. I'd have to, like, <laughs> set everything up. And I don't know if my, where I'm living because I had to m- move back from the dorms that I was living in back with my parents. I'm like, I don't think their yeah. internet can handle that. <laughs> so, like, it gets bad when I'm, like, in a meeting and then my brother's on in a meet like on zoom or whatever for his class and my dad's at work and my mom's doing her whatever she needs for work it's already getting a little like stretched thin i don't want to like so yeah live streaming is on hold but it's the same if you want to follow me on twitch i guess it's the same <laughs> handle on there lady lucida and then i also have an instagram but i just mainly post screenshots of destiny Love again it. same handle lady lucida it's consistent everywhere so yeah, that's where you can find me and stuff. I love it. I'm actually looking at your uh, your page right now. Um, oh no. And, well, oh, no, 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 no. I, uh, I love I love your banner, but uh, hot cocoa addict. Okay, good to know. I you, no, you don't understand. I love hot chocolate. It's so bad. Like, I'm out of hot chocolate right now, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, this is a national crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get some on Amazon or something. Yeah. I don't know, cause I I really like my. I love, like, I like hot chocolate, but I, my favorite is peppermint hot chocolate. Mm. 
Mm. I don't know why. Just peppermint hot chocolate is the best hot chocolate ever. And I don't have any right now, and I'm sad. I'm having to resort. Luckily, I have a giant box of like candy canes, like mini candy canes, that I just that I just put in the hot chocolate. So it's basically the same thing, but it's not the same. <laughs> it's not. It's not the same. It's not. It's really not. It's 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 like it's like once you once you learn if if you grew up like me that you can make it with warm milk. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I know that now. Yeah. One of my friends told me, like, wait, you've been using water this whole life? Yeah. Right. Like, no, like use an milk. asshole. Use <laughs> milk. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, you know. Use milk. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And I did that, and I'm like, oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it was life changing and weight gaining for me. Same. Um, <laughs> big, mood, big mood. I had to actually stop. I was like, well. Uh, I think I should probably stop drinking the hot chocolate now, cause, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what I do. But I also wanted to say I noticed on there happy belated birthday. You had a birthday Aww, like thanks, a over a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. Happy I keep birthday forgetting I had a birthday like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. We are literally having all of the birthdays on the podcast. <laughs> all I, the birthdays. I am I am here for it. If that's what people like. And that's what we become known for. It's like, yeah, you know, they're they're a smaller podcast, but an amazing amount of more like popular people have their birthday on this show. So, yeah, I don't get it what either. Do you know? <laughs> what do you know? It's like I, I'm here for yeah. it because you know celebrate. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, thank you so much for for being on the show. No it problem. It was uh, really really a pleasure a pleasure to uh, to have you on. Um, I. I there are so many things I didn't know that I didn't know. Well, now you um, know about <laughs> though that though that were happening in a game that I've literally spent like hundreds of hours. Oh yeah. Like you know what I mean? Probably more, and I'm not gonna look up time wasted on Destiny to confirm. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. But um, <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's what I um that's what I would uh like like to thank you for the most like that that was that was really all the cool little sim uh symbolism i'm not gonna go symbology on you but <laughs> um, i i really yeah. appreciate the insights and uh all the work you've done uh amassing this, oh, this information absolutely um, it's fantastic so yeah um uh, y- you guys heard it in, in the intro but, but be sure to check out uh you know cryptarchy and and the Ishtar Collective, and, and see the different work that uh, she we were discussing here tonight um, as a as a reference to uh, if you, if you were wondering like what exactly were they talking about like that's that's where you can what do you mean what yeah. symbols what the, do they mean that's, right that's where you can read her original work and that's where you can actually like like get get a big uh, uh, a better understanding than than even me trying to uh, to represent it in the show notes and like <laughs> give you timestamps and stuff like that so like definitely it's all good definitely a big big shout out uh there and i you know i i think that's going to be my my greater shout out uh ishtar collective um and our guest this week uh just for how they've helped different parts of the community grow and how we're able to experience and appreciate yeah, new parts of the game because of the investment people like yourself have put in so like thank you so much for uh, for being on there um bagels you got any shout outs uh just shout out to um I guess well the people of Hong Kong <laughs> because oh, they yeah. it's it's the, their shit is still going down over there. I know it's kind of quieted down in, in the media, but they're quietly being just absorbed by China, <laughs> and it's not cool. <laughs> at least at least from my perspective. Uh, so I, I I just I just want a little bit of awareness for 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 those folks and and what they're going through. It's it's. It's still not perfect, and I, I think the protests have kind of died down over there. I, a for the coverage reasons, of it has, certainly. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely coverage of it. Yeah, it, it, and my perspective is that they certainly the uh, um, the government is cracking down on people that are subverting China's will. Uh, they, I know there was a law that was introduced last week um, regarding uh, people that are against the party, uh, in even as uh, post ex, ex facto law. Uh, basically, if you have done things in the past, you are against the law, <laughs> yeah. as, as they have put it. And you don't so, have to be yeah. a citizen of China to be arrested. 
Exactly. It, it's scary yeah. stuff. What yeah. what's kind of going on there? And I, I just want to give a shout yeah, out definitely. to that because it's 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 yeah. not it's not good. So mirror, yeah. <laughs> mirror to that. Mirror to that. As a uh, as someone in a city, also going through a series of protests. Um, honestly, like we have definitely emulated and learned from what's going on in Hong Kong. So uh, just to mirror what the Bengals was saying, 100%. Yeah. Thoughts, love, support. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's dark times right now. Yeah. Um, groovy. Very, very thoughtful uh, shout out there, the Bengals. Proud of you. <laughs> um, uh, Lady Lucida, do you... Do you have any shout outs that you'd like to make? Any shout outs? Yeah. Shoot. You guys already took mine. I was going to shout out Ishtar because they're like Aww, super they're cool. Because they, <laughs> they they keep track of what they like every season. They update. They have lore mm-hmm. books on there. They have like categories like, oh, you want to just read about Cade Six, for example. Okay, here's all the lore on him. Mm-hmm. All, all the lore organized. books that mention him. Yeah. Yes. It, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. I love it a lot. I think it's great. Something yeah. I could never do because I am not that type of brain. <laughs> no, I am not that type of brain. I would have it in some weird system where I could just see everything and it would be an abomination of organization. <laughs> yes, yes, that's me. I kind of want to see like, oh, this is organized. <laughs> this like, is organized. And then... well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then someone else looks at it and they're like, this, this is chaos. This is not organized. <laughs> they start throwing it away because they think it's trash. It's on the floor. No, but that's a, that's the spot for. I, I'm just I'm just imagining you as Charlie, just with all the red red lines connected out across the map. Just, it's yes. all connects here. That's how it all connects. Um, I do Lore, practice guys, bird law. It all connects. I do practice bird law, so I, I do have that. No, I don't. Please don't contact me for any bird law bird law questions. I am not. I I have weird. not. I, I hold no degree in bird law and have not passed any bird bar. So please. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, with that, guys, um, this has been an amazing ride. Uh, th- thank you. Thank you to our guest, uh, Lady Lucida, once more. But uh, with that, everyone, like, stay stay safe out there. That's, that's really uh, what Absolutely. I care about the most. And we'll see you yeah, next time. Yeah, definitely. So, bye-bye. Bye. Toodles! That's the end of this week's topic, but be sure to check out our past and future episodes on Spotify, iTunes, and Podbean. If you have any questions about this week's topic, want to discuss Destiny Lore with us, or if you just feel like reaching out to us, you can find us on Twitter at SpinfoilTheory, or you can email us via SpinfoilTheory at gmail.com. Thanks for listening!